Whew. I tell you one thing, I ain't never had a day where I didn't have any work to do, like work work, but I've done so much running. I am exhausted. I mean, I feel like I didn't work the 24 hour shift. So, let me go ahead and show you the new truck. Finally got it here. You have to excuse the bugs because they're awfully damn loud today. So here is the 87 Jeep Comanche. And the selling point on this thing, the main one, is because the body is so mint. I mean, it's good. Frame rails are good. It's got one dent here I can, I can beat out from the back side. Cab's good, door's good. It's got a little rocker issue on both sides. No big deal. All the body lines are good. It's uglier, uglier than homemade sin on the inside. You know, I can fix all this stuff. Dash is a little roached out. No big deal. I can fix that. I'll just have to buy like a donor Cherokee or something for a couple hundred bucks. Um, turn signal lenses, no big deal. Grill's good. The front end, all the body parts are good. The hood's solid. Fender's good, door's good, bedside's good. Rocker bad, but rockers are no big deal. And I got this right here. This is no big deal either. I can get, you know, uh, repair panels for that. The tailgate is solid. I mean, it is good. I'd like to know why my camera is videoing in such a weird angle. Go. Somehow my camera angle got all messed up. So anyways, let me show you. Well, you figure I'm trying to show you guys the tailgate and it won't open. Son of a bitch. Hold on. There we go. Okay, check this out. Tailgate, solid. Inside here, tailgate, solid. Even the seam where the factory seam filler's been. Mint, the bed cherry look there, there's no dents maybe but a few but somebody could have thrown groceries back in here and done that i mean the bed is square solid perfect it's so good and that's the one of the big things that got me on the comanche i've kind of been looking for a while but every time you find them they've been beat up cut up just not in good shape but this one is good it's just ugly because it's been painted primer gray um now uh, hold on i'll have to pause this lift my hood again okay what we have here is the 2.5 liter four cylinder that they put in the comanches and jeep cherokees uh basically it's the 4.0 with two cylinders cut off the back end of it basically it's all it is i mean where the distributor goes, it's the same as a 4 liter, oil filter, same as a 4 liter, alternator, water pump, tire strain pump, it's all the same. I wouldn't be surprised if the intake was somewhat the same, but it is uh, installed the same way, like the 4 liter. Now the guy in the original owner said it had a electrical issue, and I'm guessing it's probably like a camshaft positioning sensor, something like that, because a lot of people don't even check that stuff. Or it could be something different, but I won't know until I hook up a battery to it, try to hit it with a key, see what it does. But I don't care. If this is bad, I'll just end up putting in a four liter and take all the electronics out of it and hook up a Weber carburetor and go with simple. I gotta lube the hood hinges because they're extremely tight and just hit this thing with a pressure washer and give it a good bath. We'll definitely change it up. Now, yeah, I'm so tired. Here's the story today. I called a record company to come haul this thing here, and all of them told me about 175, 200 dollars just to go nine miles. And my words were, "You're crazier than hell. There's no way." So I got on the book face and found a a guy that would uh, do it for 100 bucks. I was like, "Cool." So this guy met me out there with three of his crackhead-looking buddies. And what he was trying to do is use his AAA to come tow this Jeep 
and then I pay him the hundred bucks. Well, I told him, I was like, you can't do that, man, because AAA will look at your tag, and if you don't have up-to-date tags, they won't tow it. So he gave me some, he hemmed and hauled, and he just kind of disappeared. So I got to talking with the guy, guy's uncle, where this was sitting, and he told me, he's like, man, he goes, I got a trailer. I was like, I'll do it for you. And I was like, well, man, if you get this thing to my place, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I thought that was more unfair, and then I feel like I could trust this guy. So I come back here about two o'clock and uh, get on a computer, and I find some wheels and tires. Which these are 1987 Jeep Comanche wheels with practically brand new tires on it. So, but I didn't know they were brand new tires at the time. So I called old dude and said, hey, it's gonna be a couple hours. I gotta drive an hour and a half to the opposite direction of where this truck is to go get these wheels and tires. And I didn't have any extra cash to give the guy, but I had a brand new, basically a brand new self-propelled mower that a guy gave me from a, a tear out job that I did a week ago. So he said he'd trade for the mower. I put the mower, I don't know how, on the back of that infinity, in the trunk, and it fit. So I get it all the way here, and I see these tires. They're just dirty, but they, they're full of tread. They're brand new. They ain't hardly ever been used. They're Chinese specials, but hey, they're round, and they roll, and they're a lot better than the square tires that I had on it. So I loaded the tires up, all five tires and wheels in the infinity. I drove it Mach 2 all the way back to where the Jeep was sitting. Hey, look at the tread on these things. Hooked up with this guy. I did a NASCAR pit stop tire or wheel changing job. They already had this thing halfway up on the trailer to a winch cable. I chalked the wheels, pulled the winch cable tight, and jacked this thing up and did all the wheels while it was half on, half off the trailer. Got it on the trailer, got it here. And <laughs> it's been a day, but it's done. Now, just later in the week, I got to go another hour and a half the complete opposite direction up here to go find this old guy he's like 70 years old just got the title in his name and get the title signed and notarized so technically this truck has only cost me 400 dollars total but i do know some things that it needs already when i pulled off these old shitty wheels that were on it before it didn't have any drums didn't have no brake shoes no drum brake hardware or anything so it's going to need complete drum brakes in the back the wheel studs on the back, I'm going to take them out and replace them with new wheel studs, both sides. Um, let's see. I know I need to get it started. That's one thing i got to do. It doesn't have any cooling in it. And basically fiddle with the motor and just try to get it to crank over. It should crank over because this old guy, he told me it was a really good Jeep and he wanted it back, but he just didn't have the money to buy it. So, I'll have to see what's going on. But so far... I know it needs rear brakes. It's, I'm just going to go ahead and say it needs front brakes too because it's been sitting for a while. Uh, calipers probably stuck. Brake shoot or brake pads in the front. So I'm, I'm going to be generous and say it needs $500 for the brake work. Uh, interior is going to get cleaned out. I know I'm not getting any clutch pedal pressure at all. And I'm thinking um, this, if I'm not mistaken, is the uh, clutch master cylinder I'm thinking and this probably didn't have any fluid in it so it probably needs to be filled or get all the air out or whatever it, that takes I've never done that but I'm sure it's got to do it um, so yeah just basic maintenance do a basic tune up on this thing I'm gonna say about $600 I'll be able to get it to the point to where yay or nay if I can keep this motor and just carry on if I can keep this motor and get it running good get the brakes fixed and i'll probably put shocks on it that'd probably be another 100 bucks um if this thing's a roller running driver after a couple weeks i'm gonna go ahead and start breaking out the paint and get ready to, to paint this bad boy and get it look somewhat presentable and uh roll with it man so i have a lot of them videos uh to come i might put these videos on my jeep cherokee channel everyday xj uh, I've not posted anything to that for a long time, but this will give me a good opportunity to
get back over to that channel. But I'll let you guys know. Like I said, it's uh, one thing I'm going to try to source is the factory original bench seat that was in the Comanches, just because they're so comfortable. I love the bench seats in the Comanches. These, I don't know what the hell these came out of. And they sit you too high and they sit you too far forward and it's not adjustable the way they got the brackets. That was one of the kind of the complaints with the Comanches that the bench seat set you too far back. If you was short, you had no way to reach the puddles. But uh, no big deal. There's another starter and a coal pack and a battery. The battery's probably shot. Um, that's an MX-5 transmission. It's a light duty transmission that they put in the four-cylinder two-wheel drive Comanches. No big deal. I could probably change that to like a, I think it's an AX-15. It'll be an easy swap. It's got a decent head unit in it. So I'm pretty stoked, man. It's a, uh, look at that. Shuts perfect. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Um, it's it's hard to find a Comanche with the body this straight. And I know it looks rough because of the paint, but I promise it's a peach. Look at that. Ain't a ding in that body. Except for that, that's really ugly. Ain't a ding in that thing. The bed rails, there's a little ding here. It's just a peach and then the bed the tailgate this gets me this just gets me all tickled it's just rough man but ain't a dent ain't been a piece of gravel in here to screw that up that's a, that's a man's tailgate right there that's a, the way a truck should be here's a little dang right here no big deal i can beat that out get a uh, dent puller i can even fix this old steel bumper Got the rust in it and cut this out and uh, put me a patch in there. Look at this. Boom. That body is straight as an arrow, man. I'm psyched. I love these little things. This be a good damn truck. Just got to fix this. Now, this crease might be an issue. But once I pop this out, if that crease is still there, I can tap it in a little bit and do a little kitty hair. You need to block that out real nice. Look at that. Looky, looky. <laughs> That some bitch is good. I mean, it's, it's just, it's really close to paint, man. I know some of y'all that don't know, don't know, but I promise. I can fix all this window trim. That's dirt cheap. Windows roll up and down. I might take these doors off and switch them for like a 97 on up door. Uh, the door handle's a little smoother, a little more modern. It gives you a little bit more modern mirror, but uh, later down the road, it hood nice I could probably put powder that hood and go back and block it and not find a low spot in it corner the edges are good yeah I think this thing's gonna be gonna be bootyful so anyways that's just my update for the day I'll keep you updated um, on the progress because I'll be hitting this thing pretty hard in the next couple weeks uh, because I have to have a truck. I need a truck. And this thing right here, it'll hold, it'll hold full sheets of drywall or a subfloor or anything I need with the tailgate down. It's a full weight foot bed. Um, it's got a good weight rating or a towing capacity for a small truck. So I know y'all want some trailer videos. And I got a couple in, in the queue right now. I'm just waiting. To, to, I want the videos to be packed with new stuff for you guys. So gonna be a little bit longer next couple of videos is gonna be all jeep so bear with me and uh yeah <laughs> so anyway uh, if you would check out the links below in the description all the links in there are affiliate links anytime you go through one of those links and you purchase a product i'll get a small little kickback for the channel and it helps me out a whole lot not a lot of money it doesn't affect the price of anything you purchase I just get like a like a little fee for directing traffic to it. It would definitely help out. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I get 81% of the views to all my videos are from non-subscribers. So all you new people watching the video, I'd really appreciate it if you would just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, stay notified for whenever I make new videos. So yeah, I'm about to be jeepy get this thing going man i'm stoked now i gotta feed jamie so i'll see you guys later oh any y'all want some junk i'll be more happy to give it to you so see y'all later